After I installed this Ecobee 3 Lite thermostat in this house, I noticed a couple of odd things going on with the furnace. The first was that this was very slow to heat the house. The furnace was running, you could see the burner firing inside, but the house was just very slow to heat, and it turned out to be the simplest thing possible. I pulled the furnace filter out to check it and see how it's bowed in. The fan was really sucking on this filter, and you can see why it is filthy. This is just a filthy filter. So I switched the filter out and now the house could heat at a more normal rate. So the next problem took me a little bit longer to figure out. What was going on is that it, as time went on, the furnace was cycling on and off fairly quickly. I couldn't figure it out until I looked at the Ecobee temperature plot, uh, which the Ecobee app now shows you. And I could see that over that same period of time, the temperature basically never changed. It was a flat line. So this is not normal, at least it's, uh, this is hard on a furnace to try to maintain a perfectly flat line and so that meant i just needed to change the setting in the thermostat so to fix that all you have to do is go to our thermostat and go to settings and then we're going to scroll down until we see settings down here click on that and then go to installation settings advanced options go to thresholds and then this configure staging here on the ecobee thermostat we want to set that to manually. And so this is essentially going to allow us to determine how we want the furnace to cycle on and off. And so this is what we care about right here, heat differential temperature. It says the minimum temperature required before engaging heating. It's set on half a degree Fahrenheit. That is a really high bar. So I'm going to actually move it down to one and a half degrees. And so that's, this means if I have the thermostat set on 70 degrees, it will get down to 68 and a half before it turns it on. That is going to be a realistic goal for this home, and it will allow the furnace to cycle much less often. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for cooling and go to one and a half degrees. You could go all the way up to three degrees, um, but I think that's a little high, so we're going to go with one and a half. And that completes another install of an Ecobee light thermostat. So this furnace can now heat the home properly and cycle less often.